Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported the files required for this project. You can download them from the link given in the description. Now let's start with creating our product promo, create a new composition. Name it as product promo. I will set time duration for this composition to 4 seconds. Now let's create a new solid layer. This will be our background layer. In effects and preset. Search for gradient ramp. Add it to the solid layer. Here you can set start and end colors according to your choice. Or you can set exact same color as I am going to set. Set the start and end ramp as shown. Perfect. Now let's add the product image file to the timeline. Now for this product image, let's pre-compose it. Name it as product image. Perfect. Now let's scale this product composition. Here I will set it to 250%. Now create keyframe for scale. Go at end of the timeline, now here increase the scale value by 10%. Perfect. Now press P to bring up the position. Now at end of the timeline, create keyframe for position. At start of the timeline, slightly change position value for Y axis, as shown. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now press T to bring up opacity, at 1 second, create keyframe for opacity, change opacity to 15%. Now at start of the timeline, change opacity to 0%. Perfect. Now let's add the shockwave media file to timeline. Change mode to overlay. For this shockwave, press T to bring up opacity. Now at end of the timeline, create keyframe for opacity, change opacity to 50%. Now at start, change opacity to 0%. You can see the preview. Perfect. Here our background part is ready. Now select the rectangle tool. Make sure, fill option is set to none. Stroke option is set to, solid color. Now create rectangle box as shown. For this stroke, here you can set the stroke value, I will set it to 60. Now to change the stroke color. In effects and preset. Search for fill. Add fill to shape layer. Here you can set stroke color of your choice. Perfect, now for this shape layer, press R to bring up rotation. Now at end of the timeline, create keyframe for rotation. At start of the timeline, change rotation to 30 degrees. Here you can see, we need to set the anchor point for shape layer to center while pressing Y key on your keyboard. Select the anchor point, now place it to the center of the shape layer, perfect. Now you can see the preview. Select created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease, now adjust the speed graph. Make sure you are on the edit speed graph, now adjust the graph as shown. Perfect. 
Now for shape layer. Press S to bring up scale, at end of the timeline, create keyframe for scale, at start of the timeline, change scale value to 90%. Select created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now from project panel, add the product image to the timeline, place it inside the shape layer. Now let's scale this product image. Perfect. Now for product image, press P to bring up position, also for shape layer. Now at 3 seconds, create position keyframe for shape layer and product image. Now at start of the timeline, select shape layer and product composition. Now change position value for Y axis as shown. Perfect. Select created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. You can see the preview. Perfect. Here our product part is complete. Now let's add the text. Here you can add the product name. Here I am using Montserrat font family, font style 2, semi bold italic. Increase the font size. Perfect. Now let's animate the text layer. In animate, select opacity. Set opacity to 0%. Now in range select a 1, at start for the timeline, create keyframe for start, at 2 seconds, change start value to 100%. Now add property, position. Here we will set Y position value to 50. You can see the preview. Select created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Perfect. Now in animate, add tracking. Go at 3 seconds. Create keyframe for tracking. Now at start. Change tracking amount to 40. Select created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's add the product name and its description. For the product name, decrease the font size. Now add description. Select description part, decrease the font size. Here I have added name of the product and description in single layer. If you want, then you can add them in two different layers. Adjust the position. Now let's animate the text. In animate, select opacity. Set opacity to 0%. Now in range select a 1, at start, create keyframe for offset, set offset to minus 100, now at 2 seconds, change offset to 100. 
in advanced. Change shape to ramp up. Change easy high to 100%. Perfect. Now let's adjust text position on the timeline. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's create a null object. Parent both text layer to null object. For null, press P to bring up position. At 3 seconds, create keyframe for position. Now at start of the timeline, change position value for Y axis as shown. You can see the preview. Select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now here we will add the text for product price. Increase the font size. Change font style to extra bold italic. Add filled text layer. Here you can set the color of this text layer. Here you can set any attractive color based on your product image or background image. For text layer, press T to bring up the opacity, at 1 second, create keyframe for opacity, at start, change opacity to 0%. We will place this layer at near about 2 seconds on the timeline. Perfect. Let's add the offer name and web store name. Change to all caps. Reduce the font size. Here you can also add your website name. Reduce the font size. Now for this text layer. Press T to bring up the opacity. At 1 second. Create keyframe for opacity. Now at start, change opacity to 0%. Perfect, place this text layer at near about 2 seconds and 20 frames. Perfect. Now in effects and preset. Search for drop shadow. Add it to the text layer. For drop shadow, set softness to 50%. Set distance to 15. Copy this shadow effect. We will paste this shadow effect on all the text layers. Perfect, you can adjust the position for all the text layers. Before we add this cross file to timeline, we need to create a new solid layer, name it as particles. For this solid layer, in effects and preset, search for CC starburst. Add it to the particles layer. Set scatter value to 400. Change speed to 0.25. Change phase to 45. Change grid spacing to 3. Change size to 75.
Now in effects and preset, search for CC box blur. Add it to the particles layer. Change blur radius to 2. Now to change the color of these particles, we need to change this layer color. Go to layers, select solid setting, here you need to change the solid color, you can see the particle color is changed. Now select the ellipse tool. Create mask over the particle layer as shown. Perfect. Now for mask 1. Change mask feather to 200. Now you can position the layer wherever you want. Perfect. Now from project panel, add the cross media file to the timeline. Here you can create multiple duplicate of the media file and place according to your choice. Here I will place its surrounding over the product image. Here I will create more duplicates and place them. Perfect. Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect. Similarly, you can create multiple slides for your product promo. Thank you guys for watching this video.